Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Jimmy Allen. Uh, I wanted to record a quick video for you guys to kind of showcase uh, some of the cool stuff that we can do inside of the, the ClickFunnels editor that uh, isn't exactly native and can sometimes be a bit challenging to get to work exactly how you like, but the end result ends up being something really cool. Uh, so this is just a quick example of one. So right here, what I have on this page is a uh, a section gradient on top of an overall page background. So this this stock image is sort of the page background and then it's a gradient as you go further down and down the page. So what's really cool about this is actually whenever they get into actually filling out this form, uh, it allows, so kind of, and we sort of play into this with our, with our modal pop-ups. It's like the modal pop-up comes up and it's like to fill out the form and everything is grayed out in the background. It's like nothing else really matters back there and everything's uh, the focus on the form that's in front of you. That's kind of the same effect we get here with this form. And another cool thing is this, uh, the CSS clipping path that I have right here that gives me a cool chevron. And, uh, and so this is a whole other section down here in the white and you know that because uh, the page background is set to this this image, right? And so I just I shove this section up with negative margin, uh, and then I set this uh, first uh, this top section up here. I set the overflow to visible, uh, so that when it, so basically these two are on the same z index. Uh, but if they if there's ever any overlap, it'll take preference over this one that's on top. So you can do that with z index or with overflow, um, and if you have multiple sections going, then I would probably suggest Z-Index. That way you actually get some designation and everything. But yeah, so let me show you what this looks like actually inside of the editor. Um, and I'll show you inside of the code, but you can kind of see it's it's buggy inside of the editor and that's just because there's, like it's trying to get you to click on different sec or parts of the section and everything. And so um, that can be kind of frustrating whenever you're actually building. Um, but, let me show you the code real quick just so you guys see a good example. Um, and this will totally help people when you're building inside of the marketplace too. But uh, you'll notice whenever I write code, it's always commented out. So anything that affects the header, that's all listed right here, right? Any body styles, uh, so like this gradient that affects the top uh, or basically the, the main body section, uh, that gradient from top to bottom is right there. Um, and all the different browser dependencies are listed for Mozilla, uh, uh, what is it, Safari, Opera, etc. Um, and then so that, that clipping path, so the Chevron I have listed right here for the clipping path. And I'm going to share with you guys the link that I use, it's a resource that I use, it's called Clippy. Um, and that's what I use in order to define the clipping path on the image. So I add the image to that site, I specify the dimensions, and then I use the polygon tool, which is this right here. Uh, what it'll do is it, it goes and it clips, just like in Photoshop, uh, whenever it renders the page, it'll use CSS to clip a path around. And so what the browser is doing is it's loading the full section, so the, a square basically. Just like how everything in ClickFunnels is built, there's a, all our sections are squares. So there's a square and a square on a square on a square, and that can get kind of boring. And so if I wanted someone to read a long sales page, this chevron kind of points people down and gives people the impression that they need to scroll down further and further. Um, and so this loads the square in, you know, on, on page render, but it clips these right triangles right here, or it just basically clips along the path. So anything that's underneath or outside of the clipping path uh, gets cut off. And now you're left with this nice uh, chevron kind of shape. So yeah, I hope you guys like this little quick tutorial. Um, again, I'll share all the resources with you. Um, kind of the design we're looking at, and this is so Taka kind of built this out. Um, and so this is a good example for you guys to see, like a free trial page. If you know, if you had like little video testimonials and whatnot, and so these could be little Instagram uh, embeds down here. But this is something that Taka whipped up. Uh, this is his little brainchild, and we have a ton of other uh, mock-ups that we're working with over here. So the page you actually see me building right now is this one. And so this is the actual sign-up page. Um, and I think what, what we're doing right now is modeling this after a hero funnel. So it's going to be the journey to peak performance or peak physical performance. Um, and it's just this nice little, you know, uh, 
hero funnel where people can opt in and then sort of join the journey to peak physical performance while whoever the host of the funnel is is actually doing it they can follow along on social social media and whatnot so yeah hope you guys think this is cool um there's a lot of there's a lot of potential whenever you guys actually get get in, down into the uh, meat and potatoes of all of this building but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments uh be be sure to share all of your fun tips with everyone else in the group happy building guys